as a motor, you know. And if they're dominate, then we should be able to reduce that. And each amount that we've made has been less powerful yes. than the last one. We'll be working for the start next year. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> and possibly for Hong Kong or Singapore? Singapore or I, think, or? I think that's a bit ambitious. <laughs>
the Japanese contest. That in Japan, the scoring system is not in place. And so it's only a question of how fast your final run can be. And that's what this is designed for. But it's a little more aggressive in the search. Sometimes that's failed, but uh, uh, to make up for the fact that it can't look over the wall. I might mention what your wheel sensor is. The house has a separate set of wheels uh, that ride on the floor right inside the drive wheels. And so we sense the actual position of the mouse. If the drive wheel slips, the sensing wheels are not affected. Uh, this proved to be, I think, very important to the people in Singapore that ultimately won the Singapore contest. The floor of their vase was not consistent. In certain places, you could get very good traction. In other places, you couldn't. And some of the more high-strung mice, including ours and including the top Japanese entry, performed fairly poorly because we expect consistent conditions. Their mouse could adapt to the conditions because of their sensors, and I think that helped them a lot. Now this has the same, uh, it's going to try to go faster on the straightaways for the next run. Since these straightaways are fairly long, that may be makes life easy because it interfaces directly with these decoders. It, it's, an, it's an NEC chip, it's called 78310, and it's got hardware up-down counters in it that you can attach directly, you know, with quadruple decoders built in. So the hardware manages the position for me and I don't have to screw with it. It's good enough. You've got an EEPROM on it, built in EEPROM. This one does, yeah. yeah. On the processor. Yeah, that one's not as cheap, I think, is what you're yeah. saying. The EEPROM one is more expensive. It costs $100 in the States. Yeah. 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 I mean, one the maximum length straightaway just fits in 65,000 counts. I think it's 4,000 counts a square. <laughs> See, the, the reason that we do that is so we have good control on the acceleration. You know, that's the point, right? It's it's not a whole lot. What we what we try, you know, we'll see a post here, and then we'll have no new information. The next square of the post will show up like this. Okay, so it's got that. Distance you got that distance to go on. So it's a question of, you know, you're off by a certain amount, and what we do is we try to correct that error by the time we're going to get the next data. Okay, so it's a question of what amount of rotation do I need to feed into the thing so that after one square it'll be fixed. 